Mike Phillips down here, autoforce.net. I'm going to go over some tips and techniques for cleaning and protecting a canvas convertible top. It's a tick windy out here because we live next to the ocean, but I think you'll be able to hear me through the microphones. So the first thing you got to understand is anytime you're working on a canvas convertible top, you want to use the correct products to do the job. You want to use a product that's safe to clean it, but just as important is the brush. Now this brush here is specifically made by Ragtop and the Hearts Company. Hearts is the largest manufacturer of canvas convertible tops, so they know their job, they know their business. What makes this brush unique is the bristles are about two inches long and that it's very flexible, okay? And the tips of all the bristles are flagged or split. So that makes it so it's more gentle to the top and they're small enough they can get into the weave. You know, there's a weave that makes up canvas convertible tops. And you just wanna get in there and gently agitate it to loosen any dirt that's got into the weave so you can flush it out with water. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna completely wet this top and go ahead and get some water on there and let water do what it naturally does. Water is a natural solvent. It dissolves things like dirt. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll get this thing wetted down. I'm gonna spray on the rag top cleaner and I'm gonna show you how to gently clean this. Then later on, after this thing is dried, I'll show you how to use the rag top fabric protector. Okay, so first off is just wetting this top down. I also like to work very safely, especially when it's a client's car. And by wetting it down first, and then applying the cleaner, it's just a little extra pinch of, pinch of protection because now the top is wet with water and when I spray the cleaner onto it, it's gonna dilute with the water just to make it a little bit safer, even though everything from Ragtop is completely safe. Here's another little tip. Anytime you're using a product that comes in a spray bottle, take a look at the nozzle. So a lot of times, if you look carefully, there's an on, an off, or there'll be a squirt or a spray. If it has the squirt or spray option, always choose the spray option to spray the product out more evenly instead of just squirting it in a stream onto the car. This particular tip has on or off, switching it to on. And again, it's kind of windy get the job done. Now I'm just going to, for point of demonstration, do this, the driver's side here, and then I'll turn the camera off and get the other side. I've been doing this way too long to only do one side for a mock-up of a video. <laughs> okay, so I want to lay down a nice heavy, or what I call a heavy or a wet application. Now I'm going to take my, my brush, I'm going to go ahead and wet it. like that just to get it wet so it's already wet instead of sopping up any of the clean that's on there and then all you want to do is just start working this over the fabric top and look as I'm rubbing this see how those bristles flex okay so that's what makes this safe there's a lot of brushes on the market and the bristles are too stiff and the, the, the ends are pokey and sharp when you use a brush like that what you end up doing is you end up tearing the fabric up and you make it all fuzzy looking and once you go down that road it's really hard to recover that kind of opens up the top makes it harder to waterproof and seal in the future so that's why it's important to use not only safe products but the right brush and that's about as complicated as doing a thorough job of cleaning is just using a, the right brush a quality product Ragtop has the best name in the industry. And then I'll go around and do the other side, but just to finish this part of the video up, then go ahead and rinse. And you want to rinse until all the white foam, all the cleaners are completely rinsed off. After you finish washing and rinsing the entire car, the next thing you want to do is correctly dry this canvas fabric top. And the idea is to use the least invasive method, which means you want to blot the water out, not rub anything over the top. Now for that, I've got the 20 by 30 Glacier 1100 microfiber drying towel. Notice how I just place this on here, and then I press on it, and I use something that's kind of hard to find nowadays. 
it's called patience. <laughs> so what you're doing is when you push on the towel and you push it against this fabric top, what's taking place is called capillary action. And the water is moving from the top into the towel. Okay, so capillary action is your friend. And just press on it, not too hard. You don't want to stretch the top out. Boom, just like that. Then just keep moving around the car, pressing and blotting the water out. What you don't want to do is take any kind of towel and rub. Okay, that's the wrong technique. That's okay for a vinyl top, but for cloth tops, if you're gonna own a convertible, you need to take ownership of correctly cleaning the cloth top. After you've washed and dried the car, the next thing you want to do, if you can, is move it into your garage or your shop. You want to get this into a, a place where there's no chance for any airborne dirt or dust to fall back onto the top until you've got it sealed up with the rag top fabric protectants. Now, if you have a fan handy, it's a good idea to go ahead and turn a fan on and get an air current moving around the top. And what this is going to do is I'm going to take off here. It's uh, about 7 o'clock at night. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off and just let this fan run all night long. And by the time I get here in the morning, this top is going to be bone dry. It's going to be perfect for applying the rag top, rag top fabric protectant. And the instructions actually state that the top needs to be dry in order for the protectant to make a proper bond to the fabric itself. So if you can, get a fan moving. Of course, sometimes you can just leave it out in the sun, you know, for a short amount of time. You don't want to get dirty, but the sun will dry the top really fast. It's important that the top is dry. So stay tuned, I'll be back, I'll show you how to apply, and I'll show you my special technique for applying the Ragtop Fabric Protectant. Applying the Ragtop Fabric Protectant is pretty straightforward. One of the things I like about this is it comes in an aerosol can, which makes application really easy just because it, it lays down a really nice uniform atomized spray pattern. There's another handy little tool here called the Can, one, the can Gun 1 spray head and the way this works is you just kind of attach this on there and you want to make sure after you've attached it that the spray nozzle is actually coming out the open opening here and then what this does is it allows you to apply the product but instead of using your little finger here to press down on the nozzle you know you can use your whole hand just like a painter would using a paint gun now let me share a couple tips and techniques for applying this product the most important first of all is anytime you're spraying this on you want to put down a nice wet application Try to spray into the top, okay, like this. And you can see there's overspray that's coming from the pattern here, but instead of landing back here on the paint and the glass, most of it's landing on the top because I'm spraying in. Now, watch this. If I come up here and I spray from the top outward, a lot of that overspray is going onto the glass. It's just wasting product. So think about that as you're applying it and always be spraying into the top, not away from the top. And then what you want to do is you want to lay down a nice heavy or wet application. And when you look at this, it almost kind of looks like morning dew. Okay. Now the original directions for application of this product would state to apply it and then to let it dry. And when I looked at this process, I kind of thought, well, I don't want to just let this stuff sit on the top here. So I came up with my own technique. And I shared this with Ragtop and they approved it. They actually liked it. And so that's why I shared it in all my classes. And of course, when I'm working on a client's car, I put this technique into practice also. And normally what I do when I'm doing a convertible top is I will just go ahead and use the entire can on the top. And you should actually, if you have a convertible, it should actually be a cleaning the top carefully anytime you wash the car and applying the protectant at least once or twice a year. Now at this point, you can see I've got a nice uniform layer of the protectant and this, uh, this product contains an ingredient called Seba Tenuvin and it's the most expensive UV blocker money can buy. And for this reason, instead of kind of letting it sit there and dry, which would work, 
I'm gonna take and put some nitrile gloves on and work this in with my hand and then let it dry. Because what I want is I want this product in the weave, not sitting on the top of the weave. And that would look like this. Okay, so that is a well worked in application of the ragtop fabric protectant. Um, I'm gonna do the cell panel over here, back here around the back window, then I'll jump over to their side and work that in. Now, if you get any of this on the glass or the paint, it's not a big deal. Just take a clean microfiber towel and just wipe off any excess. It won't hurt anything. And that's how you apply the ragtop fabric protectant. And you can get all the ragtop products at autoforge.net.